of the nation's most popular preachers here, Joel Osteen, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, He's a dear friend and senior pastor at Houston's Lakewood Church, author of multiple number one best-selling books. He's here to talk about his new project. It's a four-part series on the life of Jesus. We're going to talk to Joel in just a moment. First, we have a little sneak peek. It's the story known the world over. The story of Jesus is the greatest story ever told. Jesus says the current world is wrong and we need to change it now. But now, told from a unique perspective through the eyes of those who knew him best. His friends. We are his followers. We've seen him do wondrous things. His parents. Why has he chosen me? You are pure of heart and soul. Even his enemies. This Last Supper was an incredibly awkward moment for Judas. It's an epic four-part event called Jesus, His Life, airing on history and the weeks leading up to Easter. It's the story from his birth. We brought gifts. Take them. To everything that came after. He faced what we face today. If we want to understand Western history at all, we must understand the story of Jesus. So incredibly powerful. And I, I, I want to discuss this, but we were talking in the break before you came out here about what happened in New Zealand. And when those times happen, we just search for some sort of healing. How do you help us do that? Yeah, you know, Robin, a lot of things in life happen that we don't understand. But in these times of tragedy, I think it's important that we turn to our faith. And, and that's where we can draw strength from because God can give us that peace that, you know, to help us get through these things. I think too, Robin, it reminds us in these times that, that life is fragile, yeah, that is. let's be a part of the solution, that let's love one another, let's mm -hmm. be good to people, let's, let's, uh, let's appreciate the people in our lives, but our hearts go out, we pray, we comfort, and we try to be a part of the solution. And let's just talk about the similarities that we have and not the differences that we, that we have. This, as I have to tell you, and I was telling you also, okay, the story has been told, many times. It's so different. You could not say no to this. No, I really couldn't, Robin, because I loved seeing the, the life of Jesus through the eyes of the people that were there. Because we've seen the story, but right. it's a little different when you see, you know, what did Joseph think when he found out his wife was pregnant and she said she didn't know a man. And so you see a little background, you see the culture, great experts in it. So it was something that we were very excited to be a part of. It does give you a different perspective through different eyes. It really does, you know, because sometimes, again, we've heard the stories, but when you see it in that context and you know we we see it 2,000 years later right. but when you're there d is he really the son of God you know you don't know and so it's it's a it's a, you know what they fought with and what they dealt with and the faith some of them had mm -hmm. and, and the faith some of them didn't have it's inspiring it talks about the different relationships so uh, which one the relationship with Jesus had that really struck with you you know I love the one with Peter because I think Peter was the everyday person. You know, I love the fact that Jesus, when he chose his disciples, he didn't choose, you know, the people that you'd expect. Peter was a fisherman. He was rough. He made mistakes. He, you know, sometimes he cussed people out, but yet he was Jesus' close disciple. And even when he failed, when Jesus needed him the most, mm -hmm. Jesus forgave him. It's the story of, of Christ right through Peter. And forgiveness, which we all need. That's a lesson that is timeless. It's, a, time. it's, a, it's an empowerful message. I know. So, was there anything that you, my friend, learned through this? Well, I learned just more about the culture and, and um, you know, the, the setting at that time in that, uh, you know, I was inspired by that. I learned from that. And, you know, just, um, just putting myself in those people's shoes, it really took on a different perspective to me. I thought, would I respond like Joseph? Would I have that kind of faith? But mm -hmm. it's, it's an inspiring series. I think people will learn. And, you know, it's, it's not a preaching series. It's just it's for everybody to learn about the most important man that ever lived. Whether you believe he's the son of God like I do or not, he, Jesus was somebody that changed culture. And you talk to people from all different beliefs, and that's what's so beautiful yeah. about this, and some who don't agree. Yeah, it is. We, we took it from all different perspectives, and it, it makes it very well-rounded, and it's a, it's a really fantastic series. And there was something that that people saw in the setup piece when you said he faced what we face today. We live in turbulent times. So what is it, uh, the, the, the timing of it to have this air now? Yeah, I think more than ever today, Robin, we need the message of Christ, of what he brought, love, forgiveness, respect, 
being good to people, being selfless. It's easy in our own, in our lives today to get caught up in our own world and just think about ourselves. But Jesus' life was about lifting people up and helping somebody else. And it seems like more than ever today, we need to, we need to put that, uh, you know, make that a part of our life, being a blessing to somebody else, lift somebody else, maybe not just following our own dreams. He's taking us to church, y'all. He's taking us to church. Hey, you're going back to your roots. Executive yeah. producer of this because before you were behind the scenes. Well, 17 years I worked for my dad, so I was doing all the production and all that. So I still love doing that. So I think it's another way to get the message out. Some people are never going to listen to a, a preacher, but they'll watch a, a documentary or a, a movie on mm-hmm. the life of Jesus. So yeah, I love doing that. I know because you said this is not you're not preaching at people through no, this series. No, no, it's it's very entertaining and it's very uh, uplifting. You'll learn from it and just. Um, I think anybody can be inspired by the life of Christ, just the, the, what he brought, forgiveness, love, respect, redemption, second chances. I mean, that's what we all need in life. And that is time. Yeah. Thank you, Joel. Thanks, Robin. As always. Blessed to be with you. Oh, it's a bus. Are you going to be watching? He's a little hoopster, so are you going to be watching little March Madness? I've already been watching. <laughs> Cougars are doing good. Oh, yeah, I just Cougars saw that. Yeah. You got your bracket set on. Yes, okay, yes. all right. <laughs> Jesus, his life premieres Monday, March 25th on History. You want to check that out. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.